Hi guys, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, I, I create daily Office 365 videos, you know, talking about my experiences with uh, using Office 365 and just sharing it out with you guys so that, you know, you achieve better results. Um, anyway, we have been, this week we've been talking about Microsoft Forms. So in this video, um, I, I want to talk about some of the limitations there are with using Microsoft Forms. As you know, in all the apps in, in, in Office 365, you know, they're not, you know, perfect. So there are some limitations with this product. So, and and Microsoft is actually actively working on improving, you know, they're getting user feedback and improving upon that. So, you know, the limitations that I covered today may not be limitations down the track. So I'll keep an eye out. And if, if any of these limitations that I covered today have been fixed or, you know, have, have improved in any way, I'll let you guys know. Anyway, let's get into that. So the first limitation of, of Microsoft Forms is limited number of uh, question types or field types. You know, there's some much needed field types like file attachments and so on are actually missing. So you can't, you can't attach files to your forms, uh, to your feedback forms and things like that. So if you want to take an image, of, you can't attach it to that for and so on. Anyway, that's one limitation, limited limited number of question types or field types. Next one is, uh, I've, I've noticed that, you know, the sign out or the log out um, capability in, in Microsoft Forms is, is a bit flaky or, or buggy, I would say, uh, especially if you're using a shared um, PC to fill in the forms. Let's say you have a kiosk or something at, in your workplace and, and you have a, a feedback form. Uh, you know, it's it's really hard to you know for users to sign in and sign out of, of uh, Microsoft Forms, so it's it's a bit flaky. So I would see that definitely as a limitation in there. Again, it doesn't come into play if you're sharing your forms with external users, with you know, uh, so that way you, you don't need to have really sign in or sign in or sign out of the of the forms itself. So that's not an issue if it's. For external sharing, if it's for internal internal use and where you want a lot of people to fill in the forms on using the same PC, that's that's when it's it's a limitation. So the next one, I've got a list of uh, limitations here on my laptop, so I'm just just uh, referring to that. Then the next limitation is limited support for templating. Yes, there is support for templates, so you could actually share a link out. Uh, which uh, to others, uh, you know, you could create a template link and share it out with uh, with others in, in the organization so that they can actually use reuse the form. There's two ways you could do it. Um, one, if if you can copy an existing form and just you know make a duplicate of that and just just uh, you know work on it to create another form, but you can also share out a link, a template link to a different uh, person. But there is there is there is no easy way for for let's say. Uh, you wanted to create a, a, a predefined templates within your organization and want to push it out to everybody. If someone wants to log into say forms.office.com and, and using sign in with their Office 365 account, they, they can't get to see the existing list of uh, you know uh, approved templates. So there is a way to overcome that. Uh, when we do a walkthrough of, uh, of, of Microsoft Forms, I'll, I'll talk about it a bit more in, in a bit more clarity. But for now, the, the, the way the workaround for that is, is let's say use your intranet. Um, so create, create predefined templates uh, on, on using Forms and then copy those links and just share those links out you know, publish those links out in, say, your SharePoint sites in your on your intranet, like a communications site, and people could go to that communication site before, uh, go to that SharePoint site beforehand. You know, get a list of all the templates, uh, pre-approved templates, and then they can click on that link and it'll take them automatically to the Microsoft Forms application. So that's a way around. But if 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 people were to go directly into Microsoft Forms, they, they won't be able to see the existing list of uh, templates. That's that's a limitation in my book. Um, the second one is is uh, the number of survey responses that are allowed for each form. You know, previously it was a very low number, but Microsoft have recently increased that to say fifty thousand responses for for a uh, for, for each form. So 
you know you can't have more than 50,000 responses for a form so especially you know if uh, if you're dealing with high volume high traffic uh, uh, forms you know external forms or internal forms you know if if you if you see it's going to go over with uh, 50,000 responses you know then microsoft forms is not not the right tool or it's limited in that way the one way for you to do is you need to keep cleansing up like you know keep deleting the existing responses or not deleting my you know taking a snapshot of the existing responses and moving it away into moving it into excel we'll look into that as well when we do a walkthrough of microsoft forms in the next day or two um next response um uh the, and the, the next feed sorry the next limitation is is um the data that the Microsoft uh, Forms data is not stored uh, in, in your same Office 365 uh, data center as the other services, other like SharePoint or Exchange. By default, um, if you're not a European customer, your Microsoft Forms information is stored in US uh, data centers. So let's say you're in India or you're Australia or or UK. Um, UK is no. I take that point back. Uh, if you're in India or Australia, you know, if you want to use Microsoft Forms, your your data will will reside in US. Microsoft is actually looking to bring those, uh, you know, um, data, bring Microsoft Forms and the other services data as well into your common uh, data center along with SharePoint and other main services. But for now, keep in mind that your data is actually stored in elsewhere in a different country. If you're in US, this is not a limitation. If you're in Europe, uh, you know you get uh, the option is because of GDPR, your 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 uh, Microsoft Forms data gets stored in in, uh, in 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 Europe within Europe as well. So there you go. Those are the five limitations of Microsoft Forms. With with op in tomorrow's video, let's see how you can actually overcome limitation four and five. Limitation four is you know dealing with the number of survey responses, fifty thousand. Let's look at how you could actually overcome that. There's few workarounds for that, and also uh, we have a similar workaround in in how you know let's say you're in Australia and you want to use Microsoft Forms, but you're worried about data being elsewhere. You know there's a workaround for that as well. So. And, and it's called Excel for forms. <laughs> so we'll talk about that uh, in a bit more clarity tomorrow. And, and uh, please do connect with me on LinkedIn and follow uh, my videos and let me know your feedback. So thanks and I'll, I'll touch base with you tomorrow. Cheers.